Hello everyone, Sunsendok2, welcome to another install tutorial, this time on vanilla to twitch or vanilla to CurseForge Launcher technically now, as uh, Twitch now doesn't have the mod pack support, so you do need to use a CurseForge Launcher here. So uh, what you want to do is pretty much set up a vanilla like environment first with the regular launcher, um, and then from there you want to carry over some stuff from that to the Curse Forge or Twitch launcher. Um, pretty much this will be exactly the same as my prior ones of a vanilla to Twitch method um, because the actual structure the Curse Forge launch is using is basically exactly the same. I removed all my mod packs just to see how it would be like for a fresh setup and uh, yeah it still just goes hey you're looking for like the creating a you know Twitch folder structure and I was like oh okay cool so I moved my mod packs over just because I wasn't sure if um because before I was just like hang on does Curse Forge just change their folder structure or anything it's like no it's literally the same so yeah um pretty much any prior videos covering this will be basically the same it's just for the fact that I'm using 117 snapshots and Curse Forge and maybe better audio quality or something so yeah this will be basically the same method but if you're new to this then welcome so pretty much what I'm going to do is uh, obviously go with a created profile here. So pretty much just go with whichever forge, you're not even going to need to worry about it and there's no forget using a mod loader one, so just go with whichever. It's going to ignore forge anyways in this method compared to jump loader. Select any though, doesn't really matter, um, and then just name it as we're focusing on snapshots, not the other. And it doesn't really matter about these versions anyways because we're kind of ignoring them. So obviously I've got no mods here. If you want to get mods from here you could, but since we're going with snapshots there's not really much point in reaching for here because it's going to go with only 116 four ones. We can't select 117 snapshots because it doesn't allow us to. Um, so yeah, pretty much just get your mods from CurseForge or wherever. Um, for 117 of a specific snapshot and then obviously put them in the folder so yeah so just pretty much put them in the mods folder and you'll be good to go so i've got a few here that i know work from 20w45a you can go for the most recent snapshot if you want to it's perfectly fine it's just that i know that this one's going to work for me so yeah so next once you've got your mods in the folder what you want to do is get access to dot fabric and dot mix and dot out. Uh, the way to do this is pretty much go to where your dot Minecraft is normally. So I'm just going to go with yeah, there's already one that I already know works. So I'm just going to set this environment up for uh, save. This will be the end result, of course, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, if you know where your dot Minecraft is in Vanilla Launcher, then you're good to go. Um, the way I recommend going about it for any operating system when doing it. Um, is that you go to the resource packs menu because every version has access to obviously that and then from there you appear in this so if you go to the resource packs menu go to the left box and then you'll end up here or left button sorry and then once you're in here you go back up one and then you'll be in dot minecraft and you have access to versions and uh, dot fabric and dot mix and dot out so i don't know if dot fabric's like a 114 115 thing or it's literally just depends on how it's set up and that with each launcher i don't know not CMCs and vanilla is kind of different in some ways of what it needs, I guess, or where it places stuff, so yeah. Um, but just copy these two folders and then paste them into... I'm just adding more and more folders here and here. <laughs> We're going to clean them up. Um, so you go to here from your instance or profile, um, and then from there go to instances, and then you go straight up to Twitch, and then you go straight to your install folder, and then paste them. So if you have access to both of these, paste them in here, because this is where all the important stuff happens for either Minecraft or, I assume, other games that the launcher supports. So just put that in there, or specifically this is where the Minecraft stuff goes anyway, so just put those two in there because it's important. Pretty much because the Fabric Installer not only sets up uh, the specific version that you've suggested, but it also sets up the fabric specific stuff, and this is the fabric specific stuff. So once you've done that, I'm going to show the resource packs part, so resource packs button, open pack folder, go up, and then you'll find your dot fabric and dot mix and dot out there. Obviously I'm using the curse forge means, but uh, if you know exactly how to use the vanilla launcher to do exactly the same thing, just go this, and then the other one, and it 
we have this and then this, copy them and then put them into here, like so. Now, now that you've done that, what you want, that's going to do its thing because it has to reset things up I guess. Um, once you've done that, you want to go to versions. So if you, ah, where is it? If you know where versions is, pretty much, then uh, just go to there. And then you'll want to get the specific version that you got selected. So I've already got mine somewhere. Uh, the install and then versions. This is where all your stuff's set up, pretty much. So uh, basically, what will happen is that when you're setting up stuff normally, it'll generate a forge one, or before that, obviously, you could set up a non modded one as well. So that's where all your stuff will go, is here reason why you want to get the fabric version is because you want to paste it in here. So copy it from where your versions folder is in, I keep doing that, .minecraft from the vanilla launcher. Go in here, search for the one that you did, and then it'll be fine, and then paste it in here. Mine is in here, my 2048 one I would have done. Um, so yeah, you pretty much just go, hey, I want that specific one, copy it, paste it in here, and be fine as you can see with me accessing it right here now. So once you've done that, you pretty much just launch the launcher, because you've got your mods, it's not viewing them in here, but they're still there. You've got the fabric important stuff, so it can actually use fabric, and you've got the fabric version so that you can actually play the game. So that's why we need all that preparation stuff before, is because it has certain aspects that needs to be applied before you can actually use fabric, or otherwise you can't use fabric if none of it's there. So, as you could obviously see in that, with me just closing the launcher and launching, uh, loading it back up, is that it doesn't actually stick with the profile. So, every time you're gonna have to select which one because it doesn't stay there, it's not a properly installed by the system type one that's automatic, so it's like, you know, I obviously want that forge, it's gonna stick with that one. Um, so, you have to keep selecting these because it's not a properly installed one by the launcher itself. It is a sort of outside thing put in that is viewable and playable, but it doesn't actually come from it naturally, so yeah. It's not gonna notice it properly, or stick with it. Um, so yeah, you have to select that every time. I'm just gonna load that up. Uh, otherwise, it pretty much just doesn't allow you to publish mod packs as well, so keep that in mind. Um, technically, you can't do that at the moment, even with Jump Loader and otherwise, because there is no feature in the mod pack of the launcher currently. Um, but yeah, once once it becomes a um, thing, it'll probably be fine. But for now, just to make this video, you can't publish mod packs with um, Jump Loader. Two guys forge. So yeah, so just wait for this to do its thing, which you obviously know works after showing the resource packs um, folder location to access. I'll just wait for this to do its thing. show a mod that I know that definitely works. I don't have many item or block ones, I've just got a few sort of tweak ones I can show. So yeah, we'll just load up this world. I've got one created from a prior attempt at recording this. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Showing that they actually do work in the world. Instead of it just being like, oh yeah, okay, they're loaded. It's like they actually do work. Um, this is a proper way to use the game. Well, a way to use the game that works, not proper actually. Um, here we go, so you just go to a tree, and we'll just harvest it, because we've got a tree filling mod, and you can see that it'll just do that. Let's do it again. You can see it's going to fill the tree for us. There we go. So that is that. Um, again, I only recommend it for snapshots, or if you want any means to actually get it working. Jump loader is definitely superior in all ways because you have access to publishing mod packs, you have access to actually getting things to notice it, where you don't have to do the whole avoiding forge sort of thing and it doesn't stick. Um, it does, Jumpload actually does use forge um, to then do its thing of making fabric mods work instead of forge ones, but it uses forge to do certain things. It's a bit strange, but it makes sense in um, thinking about it otherwise. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.